Welcome back to Set Like Off-Road School. Today we're going to talk about how to get these adventure motorcycles to stop, how to use your brakes correctly when you're riding off-road. So braking off-road, there's this misconception that um, you don't really use the front brake and everything happens in the rear. You have to be using both brakes if you want to control your bike properly. Now, what we'll see a lot of riders do is when they try to engage their front brake, they use their entire hand. So they use four fingers, um, which gives them a lot of uh, force, a lot of strength on the brake lever. We recommend always riding with the index finger on the brake lever to help with your wrist position. But then also that's all you need to control the brake lever to slow the bike down enough. What you want to be doing off-road in the front brake is be very gentle. So it's more of a just dragging the front brake with a little bit of lever action here and not so much of a grabbing of the front brake. Off-road, you should be riding with your ABS off. So if you grab a handful of throttle, the front end will lock and you will go down. Just dragging the front brake will help you control the bike. It will also help you set the bike, right? It will kind of transfer the weight of the bike towards the front tire. You find a little bit of traction there. The front of the bike stabilizes and it becomes really easy for you to turn the bike in the direction that you want to go. Yeah. So now we have the front brake under control. Like I said, you want to be using both brakes. So the rear brake comes into play and there is the same technique. You don't want to just stomp on your rear brake, lock up the rear and you know kick the bike loose. Just gently learn to control the rear brake with your ankle, right? So like a dragging of the brake, especially when the ground is loose, like today we're riding a lot of gravel. So it's much better for you to um, trail brake and we'll explain how to properly trail brake in another video, but you want to be ex uh, extending the, the uh, area of your braking. You don't want to come in and have this really sharp moment where you hit both brakes really hard, but you want to come in and just gently get on both brakes, drag both uh, brakes, uh, all the way into the corner and that's what you'll do by just kind of resting on the foot brake pedal and be gentle here. We see too many riders, a lot of riders even using their entire foot and engaging the foot brake. So just uh, the, the top of your boot, so like your toe area there and just get used to controlling that. And we can always recommend training these sort of techniques when you're riding on a, on a quiet side street. Just roll down the street and just feel what the bike does if you're just engaging your rear brake pedal a little bit, right? Just to get a feel for it. It's all um, very fine, very small movements. So it takes a little bit of practice uh, until you get to the point where you always do it right. So this is the way that you slow your bike down if you just want to set up for a turn. Now what happens if you really have to slow the bike down aggressively and quick? And um, again, that's a mix of both brakes. With the ABS turned off, what we recommend is first thing you do, you pull your clutch in and you hammer the rear brake. So you go full lock on the rear. Both legs have to stay on the bike. Your left foot is obviously on the brake pedal, so that's on the bike. Make sure your, your left foot makes good contact with the foot peg and your knee makes good contact with your fuel tank so the bike doesn't step out. Now, once the rear is locked, obviously you're skidding quite a ways and it will be hard to get the bike to stop. That's where the front brake comes in, right? So you're fully locked on the rear. You start squeezing gently on the front brake to kind of improve your braking power, right? So the rear is already locked. So that initial point, like the bike's starting to slow down. Now you're skidding. Now, while the bike is skidding straight, gently squeeze the front brake lever, get the bike to slow down. And you will see that that way of stopping, if you have to come to a stop, is very effective. Careful. Once you start engaging the front brake, um, you know, obviously some of that weight transfers to the front of the bike. And because you're in full lock mode, it's really easy to over grab the front brake. So again, that's something that you'll have to practice where you should be going out and just practice some skids. Just find an area that's flat, that's loose surface, and you're just pulling the clutch and you just skid the rear brake. Get a feel for how far the bike is skidding, what it feels like when the bike is skidding, and then step by step, you start introducing a little bit of front brake, right? It, again, it takes a little bit of training to separate the two where you're fully aggressive, full lock on the rear and just gently on the front. So it's something that you need to go out and practice and, and take your time. Don't wait until you get into a situation where you have to use this technique. 
um, because at that moment, it will be really easy to just hammer the front brake and set up the rear, lose the front end of the bike and go down. So step number one, you pull in the clutch. Step number two, right foot, full lock on the rear brake. And then step number three to uh, improve your braking power, squeeze that front brake lever and get the bike to stop. So in these two clips, you can see the prime example of how important it is to use both brakes. The first one, I'm just locking up the rear and you can see the bike skids, it slides right on. The second one, I start squeezing the front brake, right? And I, a trail brake in the front where I start squeezing just slightly. And then when I feel the front brake engaging, I start to grip the front brake a little bit more. And you see, you cut the, your braking distance almost in half or more than in half. So this is a prime example of how uh, important it is to get used to using both brakes if you really want to have full control when it comes to stopping these bigger bikes. So this is it for today's Adventure Motorcycle Off-Road Riding Tip. This is how you control your brakes when you're riding off-road. And you can tell it's always a mix of front brake and rear brake, right? As I said, across the different steps, make sure you practice these things. Take the time to go out and really get a feel for how your bike reacts when, uh, when you're using both brakes. Um, I mentioned multiple times that we always recommend turning off your ABS. So some of the bikes out there, you don't have the option to turn it completely off. If your bike has the option to completely turn off your ABS when riding off-road, you should. It's a lot easier for you to control the bike when you're able to lock up the rear. Um, you just, again, need to practice uh, to be gentle on the front brake so you don't lock up the front. Um, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Check the description below. Subscribe to our newsletter to get some really good deals from some of our partners. Some of them are up to 40% off. Um, so if you're in the market for any bike parts, gear, any of that stuff, we have tires there. Um, so that can help you save some money. And then we'll see you next week for another adventure bike riding tip.